So Sutskova of Russia maintains first place with Osman second and Kostner third. One Russian in first and another one coming up. The 15-year-old Alina Zagitova, second after the short program, but was trailing by less than one point behind Osman. Had a personal best in the short. Only in her first senior season on the Grand Prix circuit and undefeated, has not lost outside of her fellow Russian and training partner, Medvedeva, who's not here. She's the only one who has not lost on the Grand Prix circuit. Landings, but with that starting technical score, it gives her a little wiggle room over the other ladies in the field. The world junior champion from last year, and a winner at the Grand Prix of China and France in her first season on the senior circuit this year. 
Alina Zagitova poised to take the lead with one skater left to go in the ladies free at the Grand Prix Final. Looking to remain unbeaten in her first season at the senior level at still just 15 years of age. She has shown so much poise this season, stepping up and bringing everything that she did in the junior ranks. She's been imperfect. When you compared her to someone like Satskova or Medvedeva, you see those athletes coming through time and time again. But Zagitova does just enough. With the triple lutz, triple loop, it gets her over that threshold with the elite ladies. She does all of her jumping passes in the second half. So even when she's losing out on the grade of execution on the second Lutz or on the first combination with the double axle triple toe, she is still capable of putting up those high technical scores because everything gets that 10% bonus. You have to think that with things choreographed that way, the component score on the choreography and composition mark should be relatively low. They look for a well-balanced program where you see jumping and spinning, not only in different places on the ice, but in different parts of the program. So when all the jumping passes are in the last minute and a half, it makes it very difficult to argue the point of a well-balanced program. But she has a lot of command of the ice. She finishes her lines quite nicely for someone her age. And she jumps so extremely well that it makes you forgive the fact that the program is not particularly balanced. She also does a nice job in that first half of the program of not coming across as resting. She keeps her energy high. She's skating fast. She's moving quickly with her motions. It's not like she's just sitting there catching her breath, waiting for those jumping passes late in the program, but still from a balanced perspective, very difficult to see those component scores competitive with someone like Carolina Costner. <laughs> Best free score at 147.03, season's best total, and she's into the lead with one skater left to go. Looking for her second come from behind win of this Grand Prix season. Did it in France, now hoping to do it at the final in Japan. So Sutskova, her fellow Russian, drops down to second. And the 15 year old. Alina Zagitova, the leader. And it wasn't a bad skate. It's just that some of these ladies at the bottom skated so well that it made it very difficult to get away with any sort of mistake. So Alina Zagitova completes her unbeaten season and keeps it rolling in her first year at the senior level on the Grand Prix circuit. The two Russians finish in the top two spots with Zagitova and Satskova with Caitlin Osman of Canada rounding out the podium in third. So the 15-year-old from Russia gets the win and back to wrap it up from Japan after this. Alina Zagitova, the fourth consecutive Russian to win on the Grand Prix final circuit. As Zagitova, at 15 years of age, adds her name to that prestigious list of names. Said she was battling some... And Alina Zagitova, at just 15 years of age, the world junior champion, first year at the senior level, and she has yet to lose. She is unbeaten this year. It doesn't hurt that she's yet to go head-to-head -head with Medvedeva, but she has been so ambitious. The way she's going about the technical side of these programs is really moving this sport forward. We have not seen a lot of people doing the triple lutz, triple loop. So for her to be able to do it with the kind of success that she's had is just pushing things that much further forward. We see the triple axle from some of our ladies, 
But when you do two different types of triple-triple, it makes it very hard to catch you on the technical side, particularly when those jumping passes are in the second half bonus. And she does every single jump in both programs with that extra 10%. Zagitova will certainly be a threat in Pyeongchang in two months' time as she beats out her fellow Russian Maria Sutskova in the Grand Prix Final today. Caitlin Osmond completes the podium in third with Kostner Miyahara and Higuchi finishing just off in fourth, fifth, and sixth. Elena Zagitova, a clean sweep in her Grand Prix events this season. And here's a look at...